For today's task, you're going to do a little more practice using membene and figuring out how to break some words down apart and use that prefix and suffix knowledge to build meaning with words. So just to review, when you get into membene, I want to show you a little bit of how you can navigate. When you are studying a word, looking at the word ingredients right now is what we're really focused on and recognizing the parts. So a prefix, if you see them, and you can see this one has two because they have a hyphen at the end of the prefix. That tells you that you could add parts here to the end. The prefix goes at the beginning, and then it gives you the definition. Then it might have either a base or a root. A base is a word that can stand alone, like pass. Um, sometimes a word like cron is a root. It cannot stand alone, but it's not a prefix. It's not a suffix, um, but it's, it's just its own little middle medial word part that has some meaning. Um, it just is, d doesn't stand as a word on its own. And then the last one is a suffix, and we recognize suffixes because they have this hyphen at the beginning showing where we could add parts of words. So when you go into Membean, you can click where it says All Words Learned right here, and it'll take you to a page that has a whole bunch of other words. And so you can click here, Good Progress, Almost Ready, Ready, and Quizzable. And you could click any one of these words so that you can go and look at the study page. And so today, that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to go in, and you're going to find words that look like they have multiple word parts. So when I look at genre, I don't really see any prefixes and suffixes, but when I look at unsurpassed or ratification or impoverished, I can tell already that they have multiple different word parts. And so that's what you're going to be looking for today. So you're going to have this handout on the front. You're going to find five, four different words, and we're going to do one example together right now, and then you're going to find four more words and do the exact same thing. So the word we're going to use is animated. And again, if you click this little part here, it'll take you to the word tree. You can see that anim is a root. It's not a word by itself, so it's not a base. It's a root. And then I've got a suffix, ed. Okay. And when I click that, it takes me to a word tree that has all kinds of different words. Some of them are membene words, some are not. But they tell me... Um, some other words that have that same word part in them. So the word we're going to do is animated. So right now in the first box, you're going to write animated. And I want you to write its part of speech. It's an adjective. And when I looked at the breakdown of the word part, it didn't have prefixes. So you can just put an X in this box. I'm going to tell you when you do this, you need to pick a word that has at least two. Either it has to have a prefix and a suffix or a prefix and a root or a root base and a suffix. So you have to pick, have at least two columns filled in. So anim is a root. It's not a word by itself. And it means mind or spirit. And the suffix ed means having a particular state. So now I'm going to go find five words that also have anim in it besides animated. And this is where I can click on that little word tree. And um, Oh, and I said, you must find at least two of the word parts or pick a different word. So I see unanimous, animal, reanimate, magnanimous, and animosity all have that same word part. I'm going to try to pick words that I think I kind of am familiar with. If I get to the point where I don't um, know any of the words, I'm just going to pick any five. And you can always click on the word and it'll take you to the definition as well. And then for ED, I did unfazed, unadorned, unrequited, dilapidated, and disinterested. So you're going to go and repeat this with three of your own words. We've done the first example together, and if you get stuck, you can always come back here and watch the screencast to check. So pause the screencast, go do that, and then I'll show you the next part. So on the back, it says identify 10 words that can be broken down into different word parts. You won't fill in every box in each row, so think about which parts make up the word. So again, you're going to go back to that study page, find some words that you think have multiple word parts, and click on them, and then take a look at the word ingredients. So my second example here I'm going to show you is unsurpassed. When I look at unsurpassed, it's got two prefixes. 
So I'm going to put them here. It has pass, and it's not a root because um, it has its own meaning. So I'm going to put pass here, and then it has a suffix ed. So all you're going to do is pick 10 different words and just map them out by prefix, root, base, or suffix. And you can see here, I don't have, oops, I don't have a root in this word, so I'm just going to leave that blank, or you can put an X on it. Okay, and so that is your task regarding this assignment right now. Make sure you put your name on your paper and turn it into the sub, and this is homework if you don't get it done.